Hello, this video is for students taking IPC 144 at Seneca College. In this video, we will be looking at data types and variables. The most basic unit of storage in a computer is a bit, and a bit can store either a zero value or one value, and that's it. Now, clearly, a single bit is not particularly useful. In order for it to be useful, we need to have more than one bit. Now, Every time that you add an extra bit, you actually double the data storage. So with one bit, you can represent only two values, but with two bits, you can represent four values. Three bits, you can represent eight values, and so on. If you have eight bits together, you have a byte, and a byte is 256 values. If you have 32 bits, that's equal to four bytes, and with that, you can store over four billion values. Programming is about the storage and manipulation of data, and in order to store that data, what you will need are variables. A variable involves a name and a type. When you declare a variable for your program, what you are doing is, in essence, reserving an area of memory for your program. To access that area of data again, you use the name of the variable, and the data type tells the program how much memory that you need along with how to interpret that data. So for example, when you declare that a variable is an integer, what you are saying is that you want four bytes and to interpret it as an int. When you declare it as a double, you are saying that you want 64 bits and to interpret it as a floating point value. So that's pretty much all variables are. They are a way for you to reserve some space in memory and store some information that you will use over and over again in your program. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much.